As someone from Alabama, I cannot believe what I'm hearing or what I'm seeing. Now, before before I start on this, I'm I'm gonna say now that I do not like Mo Brooks. I do not like him at all. Never voted for him, never would, never will. But what you need to understand is that he is one of the individuals who asked for a pardon from Trump. And out of the those who have requested that pardon, he is one of the uh, GOP members that was not reelected into his position. And with everything that's been going on, he's like, well, Jack Smith hasn't even contacted me. Jack Smith hasn't even asked me any questions. Jack Smith hasn't done this. Jack Smith hasn't done that. But, you know, unlike a lot of the other Republicans who were involved in this, I have to say, why is he saying he's willing to testify? He said Trump asked him to overturn the election. Or at least do things that would overturn the election. He is literally stating and spilling the beans out in the open so that... Jack Smith will include him in the little Republican indictment party. Honestly, I never thought I would see the day where an Alabama Republican official would be willing to throw Trump under the bus. Now, am I happy my bricks is doing this? Hell yeah, I am. But at the same time, it's almost like he's trying to get attention. It's, it's adorable. And I still can't stand the man. I don't care if he throws Trump under the bus. I still wouldn't vote for him. He was just as involved as the rest of them. And since he's been excluded, hasn't been contacted, never got his pardon. My speculation is that more than likely, he's willing to turn all of this over before everything comes and trickles down to him. Because eventually his name probably will come up. And when it does, then he doesn't want to be on Jack Smith's radar. So instead, he's preemptively spilling the beans. I love this for him. Vote true, vote blue.